here and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about Louis Vuitton. If you guys watch my channel you'll know that I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with Louis Vuitton I guess you could say. I do still enjoy the brand but they haven't really been coming out with anything that I like really like or want to buy. However, I think that's all changing because I'm obsessed with the Louis Vuitton Summer 2021 collection and in today's video I just kind of wanted to share with you guys a couple of the pieces that I am looking at and maybe planning to buy. So this is going to be like a wish list video kind of thing. So yeah, if you're interested to see the new Louis Vuitton collection and what I'm interested in, please, please, please stick around. And before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I do upload videos just like this twice a week and I also do monthly giveaways. So I think that you'll really like like it here on my channel. All right, so let's talk about Louis Vuitton. So I actually um, saw this collection first on Instagram from my friend Alice. She has a personal shopping page where she, you know, buys stuff all around Tokyo, and that is where I first saw it. This collection immediately caught my eye because of the really beautiful baby pink colors. You guys know that not only am I obsessed with pink, I'm obsessed with like specific shades of pink, and I really do think that this Louis Vuitton baby pink color is simply the best. I believe the color that I'm referencing is called Rose but and they do have a couple of different things that they are releasing in this color. So the first thing that caught my eye is this mini pochette. It is so freaking cute. I love mini pochettes. I actually do have one in the Tahitian print from 2017. It looks just like my Speedy that I have here but obviously it is in the mini pochette and this has been my favorite collection from Louis Vuitton for a while but this new summer collection might even outweigh my love for this collection. We'll see. Um, so yeah the mini pochette caught my eye. The only thing is that it is $690 I believe which for a mini pochette is so much money. It's just like the tiniest little SLG and I can't imagine spending that much money on it. Not to mention the fact that mini pochettes are usually like the most sought after pieces when it comes to like newer collections just because they are at a lower price point than you know handbags and stuff and they're extremely useful so I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to even get my hands on one. Add that to the fact that I'm really really hesitant about spending you know that amount of money on something so small. I don't know if I'm gonna get the mini pochette. So the other thing that I've seen in this color is this really 90s looking hobo bag. Hobo bags are usually not my style so I'm probably gonna have to pass on this one although I do really think that this color is perfect for that 90s style just with like the ombre effect and the pink color. I don't know I think that this bag would look cute on a lot of people just probably not for me. So I've also seen this in like a cosmetics case and a couple of other items here and there. I'll try to like leave all the pictures that I can for you guys in case you are really interested in this collection as well. So the one piece that I'm actually really really interested in is this bag right here called the Papillon BB. I think that this bag is so cute. It looks like a great alternative to like the Speedy bags, especially like the Nano Speedy. I really love its shape. I think it's so cute. I feel like this style probably isn't for everybody, but I love the retro look of it. I think that this is like one of those things where it kind of looks like a novelty item because of its shape, but because of its shape also, it can be very, very useful. Like you could probably fit a lot of things in this bag really similar to, you know, like the Speedy Nano. This bag has also been brought back by Louis Vuitton so many times. I believe it is a vintage style. I've seen it, you know, on resale markets. Anyways, I do really like how they've updated this style with like the, you know, larger strap and the little coin purse as well. Normally I don't really like that multi pochette kind of look, but I think it works really well with this bag. I think it's because like the coin purse is circular and then the bag is also circular. So it kind of like matches together but of course if I don't like it I can just carry it without that. I could probably even like attach my own like gold strap to it or something if I do want to switch up the look. So yeah I'm very very excited for this bag. So this one is definitely going on my wish list along with the little mini pochette. So the rosebud collection is part of the 2021 summer collection. But there's also another color that is like similar to the rosebud but it's more of like a beige color but everything else is the same like the larger monogram and the little ombre effect that they have but I don't actually 
actually remember what this color is called, but if you guys don't like the pink, but you still like the style of bags that, you know, these are coming out in and you still like the larger monogram and everything, you might like this like beige version better. Another thing that's coming out with the summer collection is this like pink to yellow ombre color. I don't know what it's called because it's not on the website yet, um, but I think it's really cute. I've seen it in this keychain, um, which I think is really nice, but I've also seen it in the Neverfull and I took a poll on my Instagram asking you guys about this and it was really, really divided. Some people liked it, some people hated it, but I think it's really, really cute. I'm not sure if it's cute enough for me to actually spend the money on it, but I do really like this combination. I've always really liked pink and yellow together. I think that they go together really well. It kind of reminds me of like when I had blonde hair and I like to wear pink. I don't know, just that color combination really makes me happy. So seeing it in this Neverfull and seeing like the pink fade into the yellow, I think it's just really, really beautiful. I think that it's kind of similar to the pastel Escal collection from last year, but there is not as many colors going on. So that is kind of why I feel like this collection and the colors that they're making are a little bit more suited for me personally just because I don't really like it too much when there's so many different colors going on. Granted I did really love that collection and I enjoyed it and you know I really like the look of it but I didn't buy any pieces from that collection just because at the end of the day I just felt like there was too much going on so yeah that is why I'm super super excited about this collection and hopefully I can get my hands on a piece or a couple of different pieces. I've talked to my essay about it but um, he says that there is no wait list or anything. It's all just pre-orders. So he took my info and he's going to try to pre-order me a couple of the things that I did want to buy. So stay tuned for that reveal. I'm so, so, so excited for it. Um, but yeah, just to let you guys know, Louis Vuitton doesn't do wait lists anymore, apparently. It's all pre-orders. So it just depends on like what's actually in stock and everything. So keep that in mind if you are looking to buy anything from the newer collections. So yeah, that was all for my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Is there anything that you're loving from this collection? I would really love to know. Please leave it down in the comment section down below. Before I go, I did want to mention March's giveaway that I'm doing. I'm giving away this beautiful twilly from my friends Ro and Amanda on Instagram. They've hand drawn and designed this twilly themselves and just look at how beautiful these two prints are. I love them so, so much. These two girls are seriously so sweet and so talented, and they do have their own Etsy shop, which I will link down below for you guys as well if you are interested in checking out any of their other items. All you have to do to enter my giveaway is leave this emoji in the comment section down below. You can enter in as many videos as you like in the videos that I've uploaded in March. So the more videos that you watch and comment on, the more chances you'll have to win. Please also make sure that you're leaving your Instagram username in your comment as well. You do also have to be subscribed to me here on YouTube and following me. Ro and Amanda on Instagram to be able to enter. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye. I told you I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold on to hold on when I'm not there for you? Wanna take a different lane? Wanna play my own game? And I don't need you here. So won't you let me go Why take this ball and chain That you have put on me And throw it out to win